Photography snobs are mean. They're jerks. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Everyone has had an encounter with a photography snob. You share a picture and they're the one in the comments going, it's a little bit out of focus. They're the one saying, you shoot in autofocus mode? You're such a noob. I've been doing this for 50 years and I never do that. They're the person that's always trying to cut down another photographer. And until now, I thought that they were just this benign annoyance. Then I realized something. We put out a video on confusing photography terms and it was kind of a joke. You know, we're around a lot of beginners and advanced photographers, but we see that the beginners, they get confused with the terms and they can be discouraged. So we kind of wanted to poke fun at the fact that Photography is not always easy. The terms aren't always up front. And then in comes all of these comments about, you guys are idiots. Anyone that doesn't understand these terms is an idiot. And I thought, this is wrong. These people are just trying to discourage others. These are deeply insecure people that need to make others feel inferior so that they feel like they're good at photography. That is so sad. And I would hate to think that anyone wouldn't participate in the photography community just because these snobs are out there trying to put everyone down, telling them you can't shoot an aperture priority or you have to manually focus or this lens is the only lens that's good. Yeah, they're always trying to act like anyone that does something different than them is not a real photographer. Oh, iPhone photography? Like, yeah. Some people take great pictures with their iPhone. Some people take great pictures with terrible cameras and have no idea what they're doing. Some people have the best gear. They technically know everything they're doing. And you know what? I think their pictures are a little bit boring, but they're doing what they do, and I respect that. Being a photography snob about photography snobs? I don't know, but I feel like something had to be said. There are so many different reasons why people do photography and there are so many different ways to do it. So I guess my message is if you're out there and you love taking pictures and you're kind of shy about sharing or asking questions just because you feel like someone might call you stupid, screw them. You gotta do you. You definitely have something useful to contribute to the photography community. Maybe you don't understand all the technical stuff. That's fine. Sometimes those people try to skew their knowledge in their favor. Isn't it a little convenient that the thing they excel at, they deem the most important part of photography? I mean, it takes more than just technical chops. You need to be creative. You need to be bold. You need to keep trying at your craft. You have something that you're good at. If you like photography, there's definitely a part of your photography where you know more than a lot of people around you. Here's a secret for you. We all suck at something but we're all also pretty good at something. That's all I really have to say. My message is don't give up. Don't let other people stop you from doing what you like. And definitely don't be a photography snob, guys. Come on, there's so many different ways to get a photo taken. I've met like National Geographic photographers. I've met Pulitzer Prize winners and they're not like that. They respect other people. So just go out there and shoot and be supportive of each other. It's way more fun when we do this together. Anyways, talk to you next time.